covers what we're doing with Variant is it's going to be a, a more high tech truck and a more highly maintained uh, operation. Uh, as far as your truck goes, you're going to have the full digital dash. It'll have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, your load planning and things like that are going to utilize a lot more technology, uh, so things won't have as much human interaction. Uh, it, it's kind of beyond my scope in terms of what I know. All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. What's going on, guys? Lockout Man here again with another Lockout Man podcast for you for today. In today's episode, we're coming back with another M. TC edition of the Lockout Men podcast. Y'all know what that means. Lockout Men makes the call for you guys. That's what we do. That's what we do. We get the information. We take time out of our busy schedule and we go through the suggestions and maybe some of the, you know, some of the flyers that I would see around town or something like that or a particular trucking company that I'm not even familiar with or anything like that. What you do, what I do is like, yo, maybe there's some good information for new jacks. You got to understand something, all right? So let me get these disclaimers out of the way. Number one, the first disclaimer is all this is opinionated. If I'm, if I'm doing a commentary or something like that, it's based on my opinion and my opinion only, all right? So I just want to get that out the way. Number two, these calls are made to these uh, recruiters that have that we talk to and everything. Of course, it is a two-party call. One person on that call has to be on the call in order for it to be for it to be done this way. And I am that person that's on the call, so we're good. We're good in that front. And and. One, now that I got all of those out of the way, we about to jump into who I'm about to call or who I already called. You know what I'm saying? Already talked to the young man about this particular company. But before we get into all of that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. That all button lets you know when I go live and that all button lets you know when I drop videos. We normally go live uh, every day around eight-ish daily around eight ish i come to you guys with some interviews and some good people to talk to you know i like that now another thing that i gotta let you guys know and i'm about to stress a little bit if this information is good to you and it helps you out and it's is is it, it helps you out help me out by hitting that like button that like button lets YouTube knows that you messing with me, all right? So let's try to get the likes up on this, at least 100 or more. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I like you guys with the viewing and all like that, but I see a lot of views and not a lot of, and not a lot of likes. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, hit that, smash that dislike button. That works too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Smash that dislike button or the like button, you know, help, help me help let me see hold on right quick can i can i do my little let me let me see can i can i do my uh hold on yeah can i do my little dance help me help you help me help you help me help you now if you if if this is good for you definitely help me out if you want to donate to the channel you can do that you can hit me up in the cash app that's lockout men uh, dollar sign lockout men you can join the community as well and you can also hit me up in the coffee app and get me something to drink you know what i'm saying so let's get into this uh episode all right all right all right who are we going to call today let's see uh variant there it is Variant Trucking, a subsidiary of U.S. Express. Yes, it is. I did not realize that that they was a uh, that they was a subsidiary because when I called them, the guy was like, "Yo, U.S. Express." I was like, "Oh, okay." Uh, I, I was calling for Variant. 
Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this, you know, it's a subsidiary, like a sister company or something like that. So I called him up. And I called him up and I talked to him and he gave me some good information to pass on to you guys about uh, variants. So without further ado, let's go to the bit board right quick and let's uh, let's uh, see what they got to offer, man. Variant is saying they're putting drivers back into the driving seat. They are building a trucking company for one purpose to make drivers lives better and they said that we are their driver turnover is one fifth of the industry average because driving for variant is a completely different experience let's see what they talking about let's see why their experience is so different they say you can drive more 2500 miles uh, on average per week the recruiter said that they probably might be doing 3000 3000 plus but you know that they would like to say that, but we just got to make sure see the average of what we're driving. They say earn 30% more. He told me that with my experience, I will come in at about 52 cent a mile. So give or take 2,500 miles a week, we can average about 75,000 a year, give it give or take on a on a low or high end and live more 70 i mean 95 percent drivers get home um the home time policy there is out for 14 home for two so maybe that's more of getting you home when you want to get home you know what i'm saying so let's see this says earn more per week miles ahead oh let's talk about their trucks now their trucks is debt is decked out with the latest and greatest technology um everything you need as far as getting your dispatch i'm not sure if they use a qualcomm you know by the way he was talking by the way he was talking i, I don't think they use a qualcomm i think they use some newfangled tablet or something like that but all you all of your dispatches and communications will come through that you will your interactions with a fleet manager is at a minimum at most you know they pretty much want to cut the fleet manager aspect out of it so you won't be waiting for a dispatch you won't be waiting for that call or whatever whatever and with the new technology you would get dispatch on every load majority of these loads are dropping hook per se so you will you will be moving um it's all new freight line of cascadia's 2021 models they come with refrigerators apus inverters a mount for a tv it don't come with a tv you have apple you have android system throughout uh throughout the dashboard the dashboard is completely digital um i gotta see inside of their trucks so if you're a driver if you're a driver that drives for variant please come on to the show so i can see what the trucks look like all right we we got to see what the inside of these trucks look like because by the sounds of it sounds too good to be true uh get home time uh, and support, and they say you will never be alone. Variant. Let's uh, let's go here, and I, I pulled this up too. You know, I went to their blogs. So they say driving with variant by the numbers. You know, of course, twenty five miles per week response average up under two minutes. When has there been a time that you well that you will call your fleet manager? And you got to literally wait for your fleet manager to answer or to call you back or whatever the case. They said that they got a response under two minutes. That is, is that good? Uh, one, uh, one fifth of driver turnover rate. But this company is so new. They just rolled it out this year. So how can they make that claim of a driver turnover rate if they just started hmm. and a home time goal of 95 percent they want to get you home they uh driving a variant for the long haul driving more miles a week uh earn more week 
get home on time. They got a home time goal of 95 percent, meaning we won't rest until our drivers get home on time every time, especially if home time is important to you. Uh, And they got support that you can uh, count on. So if you guys are interested in variant, um, if you guys are interested in variant, definitely give them a call. Their call is 956-474-2638. Variant, a subsidiary of U.S. Express. Now it is time for the call questions because I just got this flyer from you know from one uh-huh. of the, you know that was posted and I just happened to look at it and I'm reading over it and I'm 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 kind of mystified by what you guys is offering right now. So my name is Sean gotcha. by the my name is Sean by the way. So I I was just calling because I see variant is like brand new. So you're US Express so you guys is like sister companies or something like that. Yeah, Variant is really going to be what we consider our elite fleet. Uh, it's going to be our most experienced drivers, uh, the drivers who want to be uh, more professional drivers, managing their loads while they're driving, not having to, uh, to have a whole bunch of downtime, uh, things like that. Variant is uh, it's a little bit newer fleet for us. But, yeah, it's ours. I mean, it's, it's all us. Okay, okay. Uh, is it possible that you could give me a brief background, being that this is so new? Like you guys just started this this year or last year or? Yeah, uh, we rolled it out this year. Uh, the Variant drivers, what we're doing with Variant is it's going to be a, a more high tech truck and a more highly maintained uh, operation. Uh, as far as your truck goes, you're going to have the full digital dash. It'll have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, your load planning and things like that are going to utilize a lot more technology. Uh, so things won't have as much human interaction. Uh, it, it's kind of beyond my scope in terms of what I know, but, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, what's the word, uh, like uh, AI, you know, uh, artificial intelligent type stuff mm-hmm. uh, to help plan your loads and keep the drivers moving and reduce that downtime. So we're really using the technology on these trucks uh, and with these drivers. And that's why we're looking for such a professional, experienced driver uh, we know that you know how to do things. You don't need that human interaction looking over your shoulder all the time. Uh, you can do better with just a, hey, how's things going every couple of days? And the automation can, can keep you moving. So that's really what Variant is designed to be. Uh, like I said, you'll be in the newest trucks, 2021 trucks. Uh, they'll have all the APUs, the 1,500-watt inverters. They'll have the refrigerators, uh, your TV mounts. Like I said, they'll have the digital dash with Apple and Android in there. Uh, so this is going to be... Like I said, the most high tech uh, type of uh, job you've had yet. All right. So coming into so coming into orientation. So let's just say I fill out the application, I get approved, I come into orientation. How would you get me down there, and what might I have to bring? Uh, we're going to require. Well, we're well, not require, but we're going to use Greyhound for uh, getting you to orientation. It's just where our company account is. Uh, depending on where you're located, if that's not feasible, uh, we can get you on a flight. If you'd rather provide your own wheels, uh, we can reimburse uh, the cost of your transportation up to the cost of a bus ticket. So, I mean, your transportation and how you get there is pretty open. Okay. Uh, we'll pay for your hotel as well. It's a three-day orientation. Uh, you'll have the uh, be assigned your truck and, and dispatched out on a load at the completion of orientation. Okay, okay. What might I have to bring with me? You know, like what credentials I have to bring? Um I mean, we need to make sure you've got, obviously, your CDL hard card. Uh, we'll need a social uh, social security card, birth certificate, or passport, uh, one of those three. Bring your med cert with you, and uh, that's really it. We're going to handle doing the physical and all the drug tests and hair screens and all that stuff. We'll handle that at orientation. Okay, okay. So uh, pre-screen drug testing, you, you, you mentioned hair. So is, is hair follicles there? Yeah, we're not going to do a follicle test, but we are going to cut the hair. Uh, we're going to cut it as close to the surface as we can. Then we're going to go back and analyze that uh, typically about 90 to 120 days. Okay, okay. All right. So so let's say let's let's say on the low end, uh, you know, driver, you know, brand new driver that's coming into your company that's starting that's starting out. 
to say the annual average is about what about 30 35 40 you know what would be what would be my, my an, annual income if you can tell me well uh with variant i can tell you that uh with your experience we'd be able to bring you on at 52 cents per mile uh, that's going to be pulling about 25 to 2800 miles per week so let's see here what that is that's going to be about seventy to seventy-five thousand per year. Okay, okay. So you guys are ten ninety. Our average drivers are probably making between sixty and eight. Oh, okay. So you guys are are a W two. Yeah, we sure are. Okay. Uh, is there a sign-on bonus? I, I don't think there's a sign-on bonus uh, that I see on this flyer. But I don't have a sign-on bonus for variant. Uh, some of our dedicated accounts, like Dollar General and whatnot, those customers are willing to pay a sign-on bonus. But with Variant right now, we don't have. One. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what else is paid to the driver? Like breakdown pay, holiday pay. Uh, yeah, we've got uh, breakdown and detention pay. Of course, with uh, most of this Variant, it's going to be drop and hook. So mm-hmm. You won't have too much detention. And then, uh, of course, we've got holiday pay, vacation, things like that. Uh, we guarantee none of our drivers are working on Christmas Day. Uh, we get everybody home for Christmas, so, uh, you know, things like that. We've got our, our Blue Cross and Blue Shield medical. We've got dental and vision. We've got 401Ks, uh, all sorts of different available things. We've got our uh, full ride program where a driver and one dependent or two dependents can enroll in uh, Ashford University and take advantage of their multiple degree programs, and you can get a degree on the road uh, on us. Oh, okay. Way to do that too. All right. You uh, you mentioned rider program. What about pet? Can can we bring a can we bring a pet? Uh, yeah, we've got a pet policy as well. Uh, one pet uh, cat or dog on the truck at a time. There's no restriction on what kind of breed. It's ten dollars a week. There is a five hundred dollar upfront fee for the pets. You can do that for ten weeks at fifty bucks a week if you want. Oh, okay. All right. So unlike, uh, you know, I'm on the I'm on the website and I'm 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 reading some of the stuff that you guys are offering as well. You know, incorporating that with my questions. So unlike unlike other companies that I talk to, you know, you you just mentioned that the average driver there will get about what, 25, 20, 20, 25 to twenty eight hundred, because, you know, some companies, they like to promote three thousand or more. So. What do do what do your drivers actually average and do they get it when they signed up for it? Yeah, variant uh, we're going to be looking at an average of 25 to 2800 miles per week. Now that average is the lowest of the high and the highest of the low. Uh, mm-hmm. There are drivers who are pulling well over 3000 a week. Uh, we've got teams that are pulling, you know, well over 7000 a week. But uh, the average driver on variant's pulling 25 to 2800 miles per week. Fifty-two cents per month. All right. What about what? What about home time? A home time on the variant is really going to depend on where you live. Uh, for most of the country, it's uh, out twelve days and home for two, so you'd be home every other weekend for a full forty-eight. But let's look and see uh, based on your zip code where you uh, where you fall there. What is the uh, the zip code? Four 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 one zero eight, Ohio. That's in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're good. You'll be home every other weekend for a full 48 on there. All right. So this is a so this, this is like a full two days. So I get home Friday. I I mean I get home Friday and wake up in my bed Saturday morning. Type deal. Yes, you'll be home for a full 48 hours. <laughs> okay. 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 That's what's up. That's what's up. Now it, now you talked about the equipment, uh, refrigerator, APU. Uh, inverter, all that comes standard with the with the uh, truck. So this will be like a, a, a high a, a high a high quality truck. How often is it maintained? Oh, well, they're going to be brand new trucks. As far as our, our service schedule and things like that, I, I really don't have. The, the specs on what they do, but I know our service department and the equipment we keep you in is, is top notch and maintained as good as it can be. Okay, and you and you did say that I myself, you know, if I come on and you know start driving for you guys, I myself would get a new truck. Yeah, the variant drivers get all brand new twenty twenty one 
uh, Freightliners. Uh, there'll be Freightliner Cascadias. Uh, like I said, they'll have all that digital dash and everything like that. In. Okay, awesome. What about uh, the, what, the variant trucks? I don't know how often you're on the road right now, but the variant trucks are the gray trucks. Uh, uh, you've seen any of the oh, okay. gray okay. trucks hauling our trailers. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, let me ask you something. Do you guys haul your own independent uh, uh, freight, or is it is it shared with U.S. Express? So I might be pulling a U.S. Express trailer every once in a while. I mean, you'll, you'll be pulling a U.S. Express trailer. Uh, the, uh, the variant fleet uh, is really just the way that, at least right now, I can't certainly say what it may evolve to because I'm not in that world. But right now, the variant fleet is, is the truck. It's the power and it's the dispatch is what's so different. I mean, you'll still be hauling uh, U.S. Express trailers, but it's the way that you're going to be hauling it, the way you're going to be dispatched is all going to be utilizing that technology so that your time is optimized. You won't be waiting on loads. Uh, you won't be, uh, you know, sitting at home wondering when you're going to be dispatched. Everything will be electronically managed and communicated to you using all this uh, new technology. Okay, okay. So that pretty much cuts out the, the, the fleet manager part of, of us driving for varying. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, I don't, you know, I don't want to speak out of school because I mean, again, I'm not in that department, but from what I've read and from what the company's told us, and you can certainly Google, there's articles out there about how variant is changing the industry. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that fleet manager role in, in variant is very different than that fleet manager role at us express. It's more of a driver hospitality role checking in with you to see how you're doing, see if you're having any issues, then it is actually communicating with you to tell you how to do and what to do. Okay. Uh, The electronics, the automation, the apps, all that stuff, the AI, the artificial intelligence, all that is going to manage the variant fleet. The uh, the fleet managers, like I said, they're really there more as a personnel, a hospitality to check in and make sure that you're okay. Okay. Uh, So much the loads and and the job. So feel free to do some Google and all that. It's, it's really a game changer, and we've been doing it for a while, and every driver that I've heard from absolutely loves it. Yeah, I'm, yeah like I said, I'm on, a, I'm on a website right now, you know, just uh, screaming, uh, ske- uh, screening it through. Uh, what about now, being that you said that Variant, I guess Variant is like the top, the, the top line E-Fleet, uh, E-Fleet, Elite Fleet that you said. So as far as bringing uh, drivers in, now I'm not a felon. All right, but I'm just curious to know, can felons apply for uh, this position as well? Yeah, it's all a matter of what the charge was and how long ago. But, yeah, we we can certainly work with that. Uh, You know, uh, it's more the elite part of it is more the driving experience and and the driving record and things like that, you know, the job history that we talked about. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for people who really – want to commit to being that professional driver. And I know, you know, we're all out there, we're professional drivers, right. but you, you can really notice the difference when you're not sitting around waiting. You're not kicking the tires cussing because your fleet manager can't get you moving. Right. You know, things like that. You really do feel that it is a more professional environment. So what Varian, so the way the Varian, so what Varian is trying to do, is trying to do for us is trying to help us get the miles, get home, and all like that, and I won't have too much of a. I, I'll be pretty much a happy driver than a disgruntled driver. So I, I'm, I'm going to ask exactly. I, I'm, I'm going to ask what it sounds. It's, it sounds good. You know how, you know how we say, you know, it sounds too good to be true. But what is the? It sounds like you have a low turnover rate for a company that just rolled out this year. So could you actually give me a percentage or is that too early to say? Uh, well, I don't, I don't even know. Uh, that's not numbers on anything that I'm ever really privy to. Okay. Uh, you know, unfortunately. All right. Uh, I, mean, I know that, that what they're doing on this, we are building the fleet. We are not refilling the fleet. You know? Gotcha. So y'all building it from the, y'all building from it. Really, y'all building it pretty much from the ground up yeah uh we we started with a few trucks and and, you know a year or so ago that we're you know kind of testing this this technology and making sure that the load planning and everything can work and then once it once it got tested we've just been hiring drivers uh you know uh even on the u.s express side i don't know what the turnover is i know you know 
department we hire in the recruiting department we hire a hundred or more drivers a week but i have no idea how many okay that actually right. does well hey man uh thank you thank you very much man uh uh you know this this has been a, a great help to me you know uh considering you know that i that i'm speaking to you know other companies as well um, I really do appreciate the time that you took out to explain Variant to me because, like I said, I I got the flyer and then when I went to the website, it's like, hmm, and that, and I never thought and I, I you know it don't it, it don't it show doesn't. no you it don't show no U.S. Express taggings on here, so that's why I was surprised when you <laughs> no, said U.S. Express. Like, uh, wow. Yeah, I I can recruit and, and hire for Variant, but I mean, I, obviously on the books. You know, I guess somewhere it's a different entity. Okay. But, uh, but I can hire and, and recruit for the variant fleet. Uh, but I do suggest that, you know, you type it into your Google, just variant trucking. See if you can find some independent articles from the industry about it, because that's what kind of goes into the detail and kind of talks about the technology and some of the satisfaction. So okay. uh, you know, check it out and, and look into it. If you want me to, okay. I'll send you an email. So you can have my contact information. You can call me if you've got any future questions. Well, I tell you what, you can send me your, you know, you can send me your contact information because I'm I'm linked up with uh with you know several drivers. You know, I run a Facebook group, so you know this information that okay. you get that you just given me, I'm going to go back and uh, definitely share with them. You know, in my network. So I got you. You know, the email. Yeah, the, what's a good email address for me to send it? It is lockoutmen l o c k O U T M E N at Gmail dot com. Lockout men at gmail dot com. Yep. Uh my last question to you though. Now, do y'all do y'all switch do you all do the same process for drivers that's already working for US Express? Can they just like just jump what? on, or do they got to go through the same hiring process as a new driver? I don't know because I, everything I do is external. Uh, we have an internal driver placement department, mm -hmm. and that department handles current drivers who need or want to move and do something else. So oh, okay. I'm not sure how an internal driver would, would move to Variant. It's just not It's not something that, that I do with the different department altogether. How about but, how about uh, how like about said, feel free to look into it. How how about a former driver that that no longer works for US Express? How about a former driver that uh, wants to a come former in? Former driver. Yeah. As long as they're eligible for rehire, we could we could hire them in for variant. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much, man. I do appreciate the time. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. I'm going to send this email over right now. It's just going to say US Express in the subject line. Uh, so if you, uh, if you need anything, my contact will, uh, my contact info is just at the bottom there. You can email or call me anytime. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Have a good, safe day. Bye-bye. Variant, everybody. <laughs> Changing the way trucking is. Everything is high tech. Everything is digital. You have less interactions with the fleet manager. I mean, you, he says that the only interactions that you have with the fleet manager is probably just check in like, yo, I'm doing all right. Or, you know, or yo, but, you know, being a former driver with with U.S. Express, you know, less interactions with with the fleet manager is an awesome thing. I mean, you know, when I drove there, the fleet manager always call you how long it's going to take you to get there. Are you driving? When are you going to get there? When is your ETA? But if you cut all of that out and just use the AI information that they, that they given us, you know, with, with the technologies that they packed in the trucks, uh, it might be a might be a good might be a good place for you. You know, they are. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to pull them up as far as finding out where they located at. But of course, everybody know that U.S. Express is located out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. So 
I'm going to assume that their offices is probably within that same building that's up on the corner when you come off the highway. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So he did say that uh, Variant is a different type of fleet. It is an elite fleet. They're looking for top-notch drivers. You cannot have no more than three uh, three uh, driving jobs in, in a three-year. Of course, you can't have, you know, if you're a felon, it's got to be, that's definitely on a case-by-case basis. And, um, and yeah, you know, what do you, what do you guys think of the call? You know, do you think, do you think Variant is something for you? I mean, Variant has, they, 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 they advertising 2,500 miles a week, uh, plus a little bit more. You get about 30% more of what the in- industry or the industry average. But if you figure that he's like, he said, he's going to he bring me in at 52 cent, a, 52 cent a mile, uh, 25 year, I'd say about 75,000 a year. Is that, <laughs> is that 30% more? That's almost the industry standard. You know what I'm saying? 52 cent you know you got some companies that's offering 50 52 and stuff like that so if this is a company that you want if if money is a situation for you then 52 cent coming in as a company driver off the rip then that's probably a good uh a good thing for you variant you get home on time but it's pretty much on time okay it's pretty much on time that you get home uh, unfortunately, you're gonna he's gonna require you to do about two weeks out, and you home for two for a whole 48 hours, you know, two days. Um, I'm I'm going to say that you could take the truck home, being that it's a U.S. U.S. Express affiliate, so you are able to take the truck home. And as far as maintenance on the trucks, they're all 2021s. You will get into a uh, new truck, so it won't be one of them one of them jobs that is uh it's an older truck and you're gonna have to wait for a new truck he says that their trucks are available and you will get into the truck that is needed variant everybody i mean what do you guys think of the call is variant a company for you as far as as far as 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 far as you know where you'll be going you will probably be going to some of the u.s express terminals that's throughout the you know that's throughout the u.s as far as uh for orientation me being out of ohio i went to the springfield terminal for my orientation so if uh if that's the case then you'll be going to the springfield if you're out of texas they got irving uh, they got the Irvin terminal that you might be going to. Do you got? I believe you got another terminal. And then if you're from Georgia, if you're from Georgia, you'd be going down to Tunnel Hill. I think Tunnel Hill will probably. I'm not sure. It's been a long time now, five, six years coming up in December. It's been a long time since I've been with U.S. Express, so I'm not even sure if um, if the guy that does the upgrade if he's still there yeah general <laughs> general dude <laughs> so i'm not even sure if he's still there but um if he is that's where you guys will be testing out at uh y'all be testing out at uh tunnel hill georgia so variant if you guys want to give them a call you can uh let me see if i can bring up the phone number again you can call them at 956-474-2638. Variant. Give them a call to find out if that's a company that you guys might be interested in. Well, that is going to do it for this MTC edition of the Lockout Men podcast. I hope you guys enjoy this. You know what I'm saying? I'll be going to work. I'll be finding I'll be finding these companies. You guys make your suggestion on whichever companies that you want to find out about. I am taking suggestions now for MTC 2021. That's starting in January. So, interesting 
inter interesting companies that I got so far that uh, that you guys really want to know about. If you have any questions for the recruiters for me to ask, put it in the comments below or hit me up in the Gmail, lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com or have to head over to Instagram and hit me up over in the DM. That's Instagram, uh, lockoutmen at Instagram, all right? Uh, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button. That all button lets you know when I drop content like this and when I go live. I go live about 8 o'clock-ish, so stay tuned for good times, uh, good times on the daily. And until next time, until the next time I uh, make a call for you guys, just stay tuned. Stay chill. If you're driving, stay safe out there. And if you're at home, you're at home. Be blessed, everybody. And I will come back at you with another video. Peace. Searching, 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 and searching, searching, searching. searching.